Here's an almost unrelated to this three minute message tip for you husbands out there. Foot massages are the bomb. Not for you, but for your wife. My wife is a nurse. She works 12 hour shifts on her feet all day and comes home exhausted. So nine out of 10 work nights for the last 20 plus years we've been married, I've massaged her feet after work. Golden, <laughs> just so happens my wife has really cute feet. So it's no difficult for me and it's a blessing I wanna give to her. Now, note that down and let's talk about beautiful feet because as unlikely as it may be, the Bible talks about it. Paul in Romans says, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then, he asked, can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? Stay with me on those questions now. Because <clears throat> he goes on to say, and how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, and here it is, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. How beautiful are your feet. Don't look down at them. That's not how you tell. You can measure the beauty of your feet by the news you bring with them. Think about this. Are you the kind of person that walks into a room and brightens it? Or are you the one that brings in the clouds? This verse is speaking about people hearing and receiving the good news of Jesus and being saved. But it's not just talking about a preacher at church giving a sermon. It's talking about what you talk about every day. So what do you talk about at work? Are you complaining, talking bad about the boss, the customers, other coworkers? Are you gossiping, slandering, or talking smack about people? If so, let me be honest. You're going to have less than beautiful feet. In fact, they may be really smelly too. The book of Proverbs is full of wisdom related to our words and the good news they can bring. One verse says, pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Another says, reckless words pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. And yet another one says, an anxious heart weighs a man down, but a kind word cheers him up. Witnessing and sharing the love of Christ is not some event you do or a sermon you preach. It's the way you live. It's not a track you pass out. It's your ordinary day-to-day -day life that is a living track pointing or not to Jesus. So go into all of your world at work, at home, at school, in your neighborhood, and take the good news with your beautiful feet everywhere you go. Consider yourself sent.